All right, we are back again with another episode of Petzelcraft. Today, I am going to start building up more buildings around this general area over here for our little villagers. And I'm going to place some armorers, two smiths, weaponsmiths, and they're all kind of going to be grouped together around here. So, shall we just jump straight into building? Alright, so I have built these three little buildings and even though they share the same color palette because I kind of wanted to make it like a group, like I kind of connected it with this little well in the middle, they are going to be able to kind of talk to each other, wander around. I'm going to have to close it off a little bit around before I can let them go out like that, but I want it to be this to feel like it's belonging together. But I still wanted them to be a little bit unique in their own way so i just gave them the different shapes like this little simple shape with a straight uh, with a straight roof and then this i don't even know what i did there but i think it looks kind of cool <laughs> so and with these kind of rounded corners over here and i wanted to build diagonally for once and yeah, I struggled with the roof. I had to look a little bit at uh, reference pics and tutorials and stuff. And yeah, but it worked out in the end. And I'm actually pretty proud with how they all look. Let's look inside each one. So I tried to keep the interiors pretty simple. For the armorers, I thought I'd place some armor stands. So I can display some of the armor that I'm going to get from the armorers. And for the toolsmiths, I also kept it a little simple. Kind of like a bit storage here and there and the little iron sheets lying around kind of like the messy working place and a little bit of iron bars some chains hanging from the ceiling just make it like they're working with a lot of iron and stuff and for the weaponsmiths <laughs> i tried I, I i don't even know what i did i kind of tried to keep the same kind of interior like where it looks like they're working oh they dropped a little bunch of stuff so the cracked here and there and they've got a bit of coal over here so they need to work with it and since it's pretty tall i put a little kind of storage area up here nothing special really just so it looks like something <laughs> it's a workplace after all and not a cozy home but i think it turned out actually pretty nice now what's left to do is actually get the villagers in there and also a little bit more decoration around but i'm actually a little exhausted because as you've seen in the time lapse, I've been building three buildings at the same time. And this part outside, the, I made the insides, the interiors, and I struggled a lot with the, this little well to get the water flowing how I wanted it to be. And it's still not quite how I wanted it to be, but I would have had to make it a lot bigger for the water to flow how I wanted it. So yeah, that's that. But I'm actually really happy with how it looks. I'm going to connect up the the paths with the barn and the uh, kind of crop farm over here and also over here with the little hut and the uh, bamboo farm and stuff and also connect it up to my base and my little mining area i'm still thinking about putting a little kind of roof over there because every time it rains i'm thinking about like 
just imagine raining and all of the water flowing down into the mines and flooding everything. It just feels it just feels out of place without a roof. So maybe I'm going to add that on a later date. And yeah, it's getting closer and closer. I, I really like how this is kind of like a little circle over here. I think that's actually pretty much the center of this little island over here. So that's also nice. I've got a little central point that I can build outward to. I'm probably going to keep kind of like it's a cross shape for the main paths like over here and probably going to add a little fishing area over here in this part. But yeah, it's slowly but surely coming together, this little village. And I'm really happy about that. And also, I really love walking around here. Uh, to be fair, I actually feel like as soon as there will be more buildings and buildings, I think I'm actually <laughs> able to get a little bit lost here. Because every time I'm in this middle part and I walk around and something, I, I have to really start to orient myself to know where my base is. <laughs> So this might actually become a pretty cool place, actually. Getting over there, oh my god, I'm so excited to finally get this village to a point where it's an actual village. Oh my god, I'm so, <laughs> I'm so excited to finish this up. Uh, actually, while I was preparing to get villagers in here, I thought it might get easier to get them in here. I changed this place up a little bit. And actually gave them a place where they can sleep. Kind of also to just make sure that at night they just get up here and they get inside at night and stuff. So they kind of got a little place to sleep. But for now, it's time to get those pesky villagers <laughs> over there. Ah. What are the requirements for iron golems to spawn? Because if there are actually mobs around... This isn't good. And he's also very damaged. He probably dropped down from the roof or something. So I just had a thought. A stupid thought. I've been taking those villagers back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The whole time. But if you think about it, I already have way more than enough villagers <laughs> to just do this. Let's trade with a bunch of them. Uh, now the carrot farm has stopped working. Why? I really need to put some ma manual farms. Or like semi-automatic farms. And a melon of pumpkin farm over there. But I'm actually really exhausted <laughs> right now. I'm going to do that later. Oh, wait, wait. I guess he got out of bed on a wrong foot here. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> probably have to remove the bed. <laughs> Alright, so I finally built up this little hut over here where my little semi-automatic crop farm is. Like, you just stand here and plop in the potatoes or seeds or whatever. 
and this tiny little melon and pumpkin farm that has been running overnight and yeah, it produced pretty well for this t teeny tiny farm. That's pretty fine. I don't have that many uh, farmer villagers anyway to trade with, so this, this can go on passively. So we're going to get enough to trade. And also this little <laughs> storage area that I randomly built is actually going to be useful because I'm going to place a few potatoes in there to be able to use my crop farm. I can put the, some bone meal over here for the crop farm <laughs> again. <laughs> and if this fills up, I can put the melon and pumpkins over here. So it does get a use. And I've also been breeding up these villagers over here. So you can see, oh, look at all of them. It's, oh my God, it's so lively and cute. I don't know why, but I think this is just super cute with all the villagers running around over here. I'm going to have to figure out why there are iron golems spawning. Because that might be a problem in the future if there are mobs nearby, especially if it's something like a skeleton that can shoot my villagers actually. But I still have to figure out why they keep spawning iron golems. I mean, the roof is lit up now. I'm going to change this from torches into lichen, so it doesn't look that ugly. <laughs> and yeah, I'll have to figure that one out. I still have to trade with a lot of them though. So that's going to be a task that I'm going to do off camera. And I also managed to fix these guys. So apparently for some reason, they really, really need to be able to compost stuff because they, for some reason they will always get their inventory full of stuff. I guess I'm going to have to deal with the loss that I'm going to have because they're composting too much. Or oh, even though I guess the potatoes clogged up the system actually. <laughs> they are producing potatoes like no one's business. I guess that works at least. But that is going to have to be it for this episode. I have spent way too much time with those villagers and also fixing up that farm over there and uh, bringing all the villagers here, getting the beds, getting them to get the right job. Uh, it took just so long. It's villagers. You know how it goes. It's always a struggle. But <laughs> look at all of them shuffling into there because of the beds are inside there. <laughs> right. On that note, as the sun is going down, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. Leave a comment with anything, suggestions, if you liked it, what did you like, what did you dislike, if you disliked anything at all. <laughs> so have a nice day and bye!